Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. And can I also thank the Leader House for announcing the business of what there is of business next week? And I actually thought for a minute, Mr. Speaker, he was trying to talk out business questions. <laughs> and, it's, and it's actually good to see a Leader of the House minus the Leader Hosen. But, Mr. Speaker, can I take this opportunity to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas and extend that to the Leader of the House and, of course, to the staff of the House who have looked after us in their usually exemplary fashion? Yeah. And I think we all pay credit to that. And maybe we should have a debate about 2016 and perhaps vow never to have another year quite like that, with the yeah, yeah. loss of so many of our stars and our artists, to the election of Donald Trump in the States, to this accidental, clueless Tory Brexit that we're yeah. now. Maybe we could learn the lesson from 2016 and vow never to go back there again. And today's piece of Tory Brexit cluelessness comes courtesy of our man in Brussels. The UK ambassador to the EU has warned ministers that it might actually take 10 years to get a trade deal with their European partners and that some European capitals might never actually ratify Brexit. But apparently we've got to worry. This is only reflecting the views of the 27 nations we're supposed to be negotiating with. Only in the weird world of Tory Brexit cluelessness does that make it all right then. <laughs> Mr Speaker. With the Christmas recess coming in a few short days, it might be weeks before we get an opportunity to debate the deteriorating situation in Aleppo. So can I appeal to the Leader of the House that before we rise um, next Tuesday that we get an opportunity to at least have a statement from the Foreign Secretary to keep yeah, us updated yeah, yeah, yeah. before we do go on to recess. And lastly, Mr Speaker, I know the whole House is engaged in trying to get the single for the Joe Cox Foundation to number one for Christmas. And I think on behalf of MP4, we're really, really grateful to everybody throughout the House for helping us and ensuring that we do that. And I'm sure the Leader of the House would also like to join me in thanking Sir, Sir Mick Jagger and Keith Richard for waiving their royalties to their piece of you can't always get what you want, ensuring that even more money goes to the Joe Cox yeah. Foundation. Yeah.